This is Eugene Penridgewich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Acer Aspire 1 Happy Netbook computer. The model number of this is Happy, H-A-P-P-Y. Well, this computer right now is not happy because its screen is broken, and we're going to make it happy by replacing the screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the screen. Okay, and before we do anything, we want to remove the battery, or if we don't remove the battery, the laptop will be very unhappy. So there's two levers we need to slide. First, we need to slide the lever on the right to unlock it, and then we need to slide the lever on the left and pull the battery out. I had some coffee this morning, so my hands are a little bit jittery. I apologize for that. All right, let's flip the laptop over and let's take a look, see what we have. In order to get to the screen, you need to remove the screen bezel. And in order to remove the screen bezel, there's two screws near the bottom where my fingers are pointing that you need to remove. And these screws are hiding behind some plastic covers, which we need to remove to get to the screws. So next step is let's go over the tools that we're going to need to do the job. We need an electronic screwdriver with that PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips, one is the size. And we also need a smaller PH0 bit. We also need a X-Acto knife with a pointed blade to remove the screw covers and a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is remove the screw covers, plastic screw covers, like so, and we'll put them on the, on the frame or on the bezel so we don't lose them, like so. Then we use our PH1 bit to remove the screws in the front. One. And this is where our metal tweezers come in. The screw is stuck a little bit. We remove it. And for each set of screws, keep them in a separate pile. So when we're putting the laptop back together, they don't get mixed up. All right. Once we remove the screws, we snap off the screen bezel. The way I like to do this is put my fingertips on the screen side, maybe even dig in with your fingernails until you can lift up the screen bezel from the screen and start lifting it up. If you hear snapping sounds, that's good. Nothing's breaking. The bezel is just snapping off the screen assembly. So work your way around the screen. If there's a spot where it gets stuck, don't worry. Go somewhere else and find somewhere else to work. Okay, so we're almost there. There's some hinge covers that are getting stuck. And what I like to do with this is take the tweezers and maybe stick them in a little bit. And let's take a look on the bottom. Actually, what you can do is unsnap this seam right here. Like so, with your exact knife. Okay, this one is unsnapped. And there's another seam here. Dig in a little bit and snap it off. Okay. Now let's try to move, remove it one more time. And it comes out really easily. So um, I've had a little bit of trouble there. So let me go over it once again. You snap it off, snap off the bezel. And then the hinge cover, where the hinge covers are, gets stuck on the back. So what you do is go around the back where I showed you. And you use your X-Acto knife to open up that seam and snap it off. Once you do that, it comes out pretty easily. So we put the frame of the bezel to the side and take a look at what we have here. So there's two types of screens that come in netbook computers. There's the regular thickness screen, and then there's the slim screen. And this one has the slim screen. It's called that, the slim screen. 
With a regular thickness screen, it's mounted to the submittal mounting brackets on the sides with the screws on the side of the screen. For the sunscreen, there's some metal mounting tabs on top, and it's mounting the screws to these metal mounting tabs. So there's four screws that we have to remove in this case. And we'll start. We'll still use our pH 1 bit. Doesn't look like we'll get to use our pH 0 bit. Sometimes if the screws are too small, you have to use the pH 0 bit, but not in this case. All right, so we put the screws to this side. Like so, three and four. Okay, when you do this, make sure the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so that the screen doesn't fall forward on you. When you remove all the screws, use your fingernails to gently pry up the screen. And it looks like it's getting stuck on something. And right away we see that the video cable has some adhesive to the back. So there's two options. We can just kind of remove the webcam cable and just kind of pry it off the back of the screen. Or we can remove the connector to the webcam. So in this case, I think it's safer to remove the connector. So we gently push the white part back. There's some tabs on the white part. Gently push the white part back from the back part, like you see I'm doing it, like so, and tilt the screen forward a bit. Okay, so what we see what was getting stuck is there's some tape here, so we could have probably removed the tape and did the same thing. But we did it this way. So we remove the tape and we pull the screen assembly screen forward a little bit. It's getting stuck a little bit here. That's an adhesive. This way we remove this adhesive tape like so. So I'm trying to get us some more working room. Okay, now that there's a couple of adhesive tabs here that we have to free the video cable from. Once we do that, we have a lot more room to work with. Okay, next step here is to remove the adhesive tape that's covering the connector. There's one connector, and it's in this location. So that's what we're doing right now. We remove this tape. Take your time on this, we're not in a hurry. Okay, once the tape is removed, we can slide the connector backward. We can grab the video cable from the back and slide it out like so. Okay, now this is probably the, one of the trickiest parts of the job is putting the connector back in when you have the new screen. So I'm gonna show you how to put it back in. When you slide it back in, make sure you, you feel as, as, like it snaps, it should click into place. Make sure you feel a little bit of a click when you do this. And I'm going to do this again. And make sure it's at a good angle. This one's a little bit trickier. Okay, now it's in. We're going to get a close-up to see what's supposed to look like. Okay, this is what a good connection is supposed to look like. Pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks like this and there's no seam between the two sides of the connection. Otherwise, it's not going to work properly. All right, so once we figure that out, let's take the connection back out again and let's take a look at the screen. This is a 10.1 inch LED slim screen. It's called a slim screen. Let's take a look at the part number that you need to look up. It's B101AW06. That's what you need to know. B101AW06. And make sure the connector is in this place, which is more, most likely will be. And these screens come either glossy or matte. Sometimes even the vendor will tell you. 
we will tell you, of course. Okay, so like I said, you can also buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is free email technical support once you get the install, once you do the installation, and we also have a compatibility guarantee. If the screen we ship to you is not compatible, we'll, we'll ship you the right one at no extra cost. All right, um, and that's it. And uh, to order a screen from us, go to ScreenSurgeons.com and click on buy a screen when you click on buy a screen you can either go look at one of the choices or you can there's a short order for you to short form for you to fill out and then we'll respond with a link to the right screen to buy online so either way what works for us www.screensurgeons.com all right um that's it so when you put the screen back together laptop back together you put the connector back in, make sure you reconnect the webcam. So you slide, let's get a close up, see if you can, you slide this connector in all the way, like once again, make sure it does not seem, I'll do that now. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's connected. Yeah, let's get, yep, yeah, this is a good close up. And put the connector in, put the screen back in, put the four screws on, Snap the bezel on and then put the two screws on at the bottom and your laptop is happy again. Okay, uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrudkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.